What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Mana Confluence, a juncture for all things magic. For those who do not know, Magic the Gathering is a strategic card game that this channel is dedicated to. However, today we're talking about something different. Money. A new study here at the Mana Confluence showed that you need to pay money to get things, and that a lot of people want money. So here enters a bunch of apps that promise to essentially give you free money. Are they legit? Let's get into it. short answer is no. But the long answer is that these apps are sketchy, they use manipulative ad marketing, and they make a boatload of money by making it feel like you've already won stuff, so be ashamed to quit the app, but in reality, you haven't won anything. These apps use people's desire for extra money and use it into keeping you hooked for years hoping to finally get that thousand dollar prize. Look, as gamers, we all sometimes need some extra cash. And the first app we're going to evaluate today is called Misplay, which basically claims to reward you for playing games. I used the app, and luckily I didn't find it through the ad campaign, because if I did, I probably never would have installed it. Now, this ad campaign is not as bad as others, but it convinced people to actually get the app. I'll just play the ad that Facebook study said gave back 12% higher profit then was spent on the ad. Hey guys, so I discovered this amazing app that actually pays you to play games. I've been using it for barely a week, and I've already redeemed my $10 gift card. Redeemed my $10 gift card. You should check it out. This inspired people to get the app. Some lady were supposed to know, saying, she made ten dollars. Also, hold up, is she laying down on the ground? That's definitely like tiles or something behind her. I mean, look, maybe if it worked for her, I'm doing it all wrong. Maybe if I just laid down, I'd finally get some subscribers. Hey guys, I just found this channel called The Mana Confluence, and I watched them for like ten minutes. Ten minutes. I mean, did that work? Do you feel like subscribing now? I also love how she says, I just covered, to imply that we know her and that we're following her, when in reality, I've never seen this woman in my life. And I know that a lot of the ad campaigns do this. They're all random people saying that we should know them because they've, like, tweeted once or something. But in my experience with this app, I went in expecting to work for, like, half a year, and that's basically what it was. They track how long you play a certain game, and it takes you, like, half a year, and then you get, like, $10 for playing Yahtzee. So if you already play like Board Kings or Yahtzee, it's a worthwhile app to reward you for playing more virtual Yahtzee. But like all of these apps don't download it because you want the new PS5 or that trading card that you're gonna buy using the affiliate link in the description below. Shameless plug. And it was through Misplay that I found the app that I inspired this entire thing. Lucky money. Ah, lucky money. The initial idea, for me at least, was that I get paid money to play an app that makes me money. It's a win-win. But given that it was removed from misplay pretty soon after I got it, I'm pretty sure it was just a marketing ploy. And there are many in this app designed to make you keep coming back time and time again. This app is really like all of the free money apps because it has a whole bunch of mechanics in place designed to make it seem like you're winning but really, they're all in place to make you lose and not really get anything out of the app. So there are four different things that you can get in this app. The first is straight up money, which you really only get in the first couple of days playing, and then you stop getting it pretty fast after that. But wait, you need $10 to cash out, so you keep coming back time and time again to get that last dollar and 75 cents. You can also earn hammers, which are basically just a way to get more resources. But hold up, you can only use hammers 10 every 4 hours. Unless you want to watch ads. Ads are basically the paywall for this app, you have to watch ads to do basically anything in the app. Next up is raffle tickets. And you're just not going to win the raffle. But given the fact that the raffles are free and frequent, it gives you the illusion that, oh, I'm going to win one sooner or later. When in reality, you probably won't. Then finally, there are the good old points. 
the only thing that you will actually find yourself getting anything with. You earn points in many ways. A game of chance, a game of chance, a game of chance, or a game of chance. Or all the games of chance except with better rewards. And of all those games, half the time you're going to get raffle tickets or hammers, which in reality give you nothing. So it's like their way of saying, oh, here's a reward that basically doesn't matter. I've been playing this game off and on for a year, and I have about 7.5 million points, which may seem like a lot, but it's not. Some people make 10 million points in a single day through the most scandalous way to get game currency, downloading and running other people's apps. Once you get to a certain level in the game, it will supposedly give you millions of points. But not only will the challenge take a really long time to complete, but half the time you won't even get those points. In my experience, I didn't even get the points. But what really annoys me is the shop. Every day you go to the shop and it's like, oh my gosh, all the thousands of gift cards are gone. So I'm editing and I just noticed that the footage you are about to see is really, really blurry. It was super hot and the camera kept overheating. So I had to keep restarting it and apparently I decided it was done focusing. But thank you for watching. It's still a fun video. It's just a little bit blurry. Every day you go to the shop and, oh my gosh, the thousands of $5 gift cards are gone. Or at least that's what they want you to believe because when you scroll up, there's thousands of $50 gift cards left. So basically they are naturally starving people of the $5 gift cards because they want them to keep coming back time and time again and putting their eyes on that big $50 gift card. Which will either take years to actually get, or you'll have to go to the dreaded tap joy section. And finally, this brings us to what I hate most about these apps, which is the ads. The ads are all straight trash articles about the health benefits of apple cider vinegar, or they're all straight up manipulative lying ads showing these people completing tic-tac-toe puzzles and winning thousands of dollars. And then we have good old Cash App which probably had its biggest moment ever after being shouted out by Roddy Rich. This app will never have my respect because they seemingly always sponsor creators that claim to have hacked their app for a bunch of money. Scott Kramer actually did a really good video about these scams. So if you want to know more about that, you should really go check out that channel. These videos are so incredibly fake. Like, so, so bad. The thumbnail of this video points to the icon of the app and says, download this app. Okay, have you ever seen a product review that's not sponsored say on the thumbnail, get this phone or get this watch? No, because people don't make videos like that. I don't make a video about a magic card and in the thumbnail I say, get this card. No, unless you're being paid off by a company, you're really not going to say something like that. In the sad part, is that a lot of these creators have playlists full of videos like this that are clearly just scams. It's not even one creator. You can type in Cash App Hack and there will literally be so many YouTube results. No, you won't get free money because if you did, you would be with thousands of other people all getting free money and then how would an app survive when its money is being stolen from it? But this video has to be the very worst of them all. Which is pretty obvious from the thumbnail. This dude is recording in his car, telling us how he can make money off the app, but we really can't, and holy cow! This thing has a crazy like to dislike ratio, which is sketchy, but the thing that lets me know it's not real is the comment section. The top comment is the typical excuse of, oh, it works, you just have to put some elbow grease into it and make sure you really work hard and then you'll get paid which you won't. But the guy that wrote it is named Joseph Stalin. That's right, Stalin. And who trusts this dude? I mean, the comment itself, nobody talks like that. And why would you love and pin a comment from a certain Joseph Stalin? And the rest of the comment section is all about how much money it made them, but they all have between two and eight likes and all use three exclamation points and then a G which is not something a real person would type. You're such a great person, clear tool shack on. I will never stop dealing with clear tool shack on. He helps me make a lie. You can give him a trial. 
Oh, thanks to Hacker Hino one on IG, I got 4,400 last night. Like, this is quite honestly scarier than a Yahoo News comment section. I'm almost positive that the dude that made this video literally just held all comments and only let the bots come in. But this video is the worst. It starts off as a standard scam making a video about how you have to go to this shady website and then get an app that tells you to install other apps to give you money. And then he drops one of my favorite lines of all time. The good thing about this app is like it takes you to the official app store, it doesn't let you download like like stuff out of like random websites you never know. It takes me to reliable sites. Oh, I I'm so glad because it's not like you just took us to a shady site to have us install some shady app and then go all through the settings trying to turn on that shady app. But my anger at the video doesn't stop there. Oh no. No one takes advantage of people that want money to try to buy Commander Precons on my watch. He keeps walking us through until the apps are downloading and then he cuts the video. This is shady by everyone's means because now I have no idea what you have just done to your phone when you cut the video. And later, when he's talking about interacting with those apps for 30 seconds, he says he'll speed up the video. So I'm just gonna speed up the video to save you guys some time. So why didn't you just speed up the video of you downloading the apps? It's probably because he straight up lied to us about speeding up the video. He was so lazy that he didn't even bother to actually speed up the video. He didn't even stay on the first app for 30 seconds. It was literally like 15 seconds of him on the app. And watch the seatbelt light in the back of the video as he speeds it up to save us time. It blinks like it was before. Look. Scam me if you want, but please, at least do it well. Like, respect me as a human being, and respect my intelligence enough to put the time in to scam me well. And then, he cuts the video again. So I'm just gonna wait around one or two or three minutes. You just gotta wait until the money comes. Let me wait. All right, guys, finally the money just came. It took around two minutes and 30 seconds. This cut hurts my soul for two reasons. Firstly, because of whatever the heck is over his front screen. And second, because of how fake this whole video is because of that cut. Again, this is not real. I will respect you no matter what you look like or whatever you believe, but I will not respect companies using people like this to scam kids and people deeply invested in hobbies like Magic the Gathering or comic books or whatever you're into. It's awful. In case you didn't know what happened, he obviously just stopped the video and trans had someone transfer him $150 onto account to make it look like he really got paid that much money when in fact he didn't. And just as I thought I could calm down, he hits us with the tasks are limited, so make sure you get your task now. The tasks are limited, guys, so make sure you guys just install the app right now and just complete them all if you want to. That would be even better because you never know how long will these tasks last. And then he says, Guys, make sure to comment or like if you got any doubts. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna reply to everyone. No, you really won't. Because the comments are all Gee! bots. They're bots. By some chance, if people watch this video, and by if a bigger chance the person who made the original video is watching this, I don't hate you. I just think that you're doing this for the wrong reason. Money makes people do bad things. And I think that's really what just happened here. You have 10.1 thousand subscribers, and that's a great platform. You can change your content into good content that doesn't actually waste people's times and phone performance and still make money off of it. I wish you the best, and please don't post things like that. Please. So what should the takeaway of this video be? Even though the people that have hobbies need money to fund said hobbies, don't trust the ads you see online. Free money apps may be real, but they take years to make any serious cash off of. And hack videos are fake and probably sponsored unethically. Also, he made another one of these videos, so if you want me to address that one, then go ahead and comment, where I will try to actually interact with your comments because I'm a person and not overlord of robots. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have a great day. Uh, I'm so tired. <laughs>